Hello guys and welcome to another random vlog. This time we are gonna be talking about the final episode of Samurai Jack. Yep. Um I did a vlog on the King premiere of the new King and the Samurai Jack. And um my virtual plan was to I talked about it at the start of it and I kinda don't want to do another episode, but again I might do an episode that comes up that's particularly interesting, but I kinda forgot about the plan and I don't and I had other things to do, so I wanted to do the next last episode, so I could talk about how I felt looking at that point, so I could spend most of the time talking about that episode. But I got kicked, and I didn't really feel like doing that vlog when I got better. So instead, we're just gonna do everything right here, right now, and I don't have much to say I got fun in my, at least without going into super and out of detail with each episode. So before, if you want to know what I talk about, come right back in general, blah blah, go to that vlog, I talk about everything there. So, but before we get to the snap, for I tell you a story, we come close to tell you a different story. But go so, between the premiere now, a lot happened, but it come a bit more. I'll spoil stuff I think I understand. Look up a couple and that everything thing. But go so, uh, and but well, perfect. I'll tell you where I get to. I won't be spoiling this and I, but I will tell you uh, time when I start spoiling exactly what happens in the cup code. So, I, for all of y'all with pulling, everything happened up to this point, but I only gave a flick at spoiler for this to get up to that current time. The rest of y'all will be King and Five spoiler in general, so, King the King, and you should probably go away now, or if you do not care about spoiler. So, <clears throat> so, a short version is that basically, uh, there's been Kevin Donald Rock, who, who I could turn out both of them are not. Legit daughter, get her to get like a nickname, but one of them, one daughter, big thing made out of like his big thing of blues. That's the best way I can describe it, you know. And basically, John, Jack basically befriended one of them because he convinced her that Aku, because that's not true, that Aku was really the bad guy, and she had been convinced for very mean. And long story short, she changed her mind, you know, after a lot of kind of bickering. And I'll go age fuck. <laughs> but they basically get together romantically, and then that episode will controversial. Not just with uh, Tumblr crowd, if you know what I mean, but with people thinking it better if they were like a our thing or if it's just platonic. And I think that would have been stronger, but no one really think it too bad. There was that really awkward scene where she basically naked. <laughs> you know, and she pointed out, you've been naked before, come on. Um, <laughs> which I thought was funny in a really awkward way. Um, and, uh, her redemption I found out pretty well, because it's interesting to see someone who really got cool and great and glory find out, oh, he's kind of a bad guy. And that, was, and that third whole episode about her bickering and changing her mind slowly, and then the whole other episode, which was like a recap show, but you no know, clip or anything like that. By the way, on a minor note, at one point, for me, found it really cool about how Glenley contrived, being a tribe will get there, um, yeah, get the golden guy back after basically completing his emotional journey. And it's basically an HC reading version of the golden kind, and it's fake and kinda of weird. I can't describe it, it's looking weird. Not bad, but it's weird. Like, honestly, every time we cut to it, come time again the cup of I'm gonna like, I don't over that. You know, fake looking weird, but the one point in the episode we actually do see a clip from uh, the pilot movie thing. That we made in HD. Um, not saying what screen and what contact, but not too much spoiler show that made that joke. But, and yet yeah, it looks a little weird. Well, basically, it looks good. Um, <laughs> but, um, but in that clip, um, they don't read the voice, so you get to hear the new Aku voice with the old Aku voice that came out because weird. Um, but, uh, but that's a minor thing I can look at. But, um, but in general, yeah, I think pretty dang good. I don't know if any episode really was about hate that premiere because of it. But, um, that guy, he fought against, um, he, he ended up having a string journey. Also, they, this show definitely used a T14 rating by getting pretty violent. I mean, only occasionally that I think it went, not that it went too far, but that little, only a little bit. Um, it gets strange. But when I got to a certain point, I don't get too surprised whenever I have to blood, but who we make KP and I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's weird. Violent come on KO, but when it came Pina, yeah, it's like Pina. And then that came up because it came hell a couple times. Or come up with a word. Tom Kenny's the one who got the Pina too, which really made me laugh. 
Like, it went for timing, too. That was so good. And then we got team more Clack and Cartoon Revenge, like one guy that looked like Popeye, which totally bring again the venting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, um, the book came pretty good. Again, we got to see a lot of that really heavy drama we like. Um, I, my big complaint got to far that I do feel like the comedy balancing was not as good at working the early thing. But we had come up with Coke that were lighter, to be fair. We weren't that aren't comedy focused, but are less dramatic and have been more comedy to them. So when I was opening with Aku talking to himself, essentially, and if you're the comedic queen, I went, okay, there can be comedy upcode. The rest of the upcode was not a comedy upcode. Which was, that's the first time we saw Aku and a pregnant in this queen, which was kind of weird. And that uh, the new guy, Gonko guy who went, um, Iroh and Avatar after Beko died, you know, during the that show, they changed voice, and they got the placement to come back to play Goku. Go, he's gonna play Mako at any time you want. Go. When they remake Conan again, you know we're gonna who's gonna make him character. <laughs> uh, apparently all the world don't want to do another rule Conan, but who knows if that'll happen. Um considering the other friend trying he came back to uh, but you know, um now I'm off topic. Um but yeah, that kind of a short version of that he got together with the Arabaku, who went back to the crown by the way. Um, you know, and some stuff happened, and, uh, you know, come on, stuff happened that I don't need, okay? When Kaufman came back, then he died. Then he came back to life because of Celtic magic, which totally you're gonna cop out. Um, but anyway, very Kali King, and even though, but Kali Bound King can add good over the King and making it a little awkward when Kali Duck happened, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, ultimately. Um, now I'm gonna go to the finale. Uh, finale does run me. The short version that kind of people regular show finale in that a lot of it is big and gigantic balancing with the last quarter, maybe fraction of it being spent on emotional um, closure and stuff, which is a lot of long time ago, but especially me too. Um, and bulk of the Gotham, I mean, big gigantic battle finally with Aku and all kinds of people from previous couple of and I won't, I think my favorite bit of Ali is one of the people who taught Jack to jump good and come back. They were about one of my favorite is like you can give a reference to that. Um <laughs> But um the most of it's just that really. Along with dealing with one P that happened in the app right before the that Mavashi that I won't quite spoil here. Well actually I kinda have to when I get into a spoiler caption. When I get to point of caption, I'll back off everything being spoiled except for me individual line. Uh that if I'm funny. Um uh <laughs> but a lot of it makes me one big bounce game and it looks really good. By the show looks really good in HTC. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but man, it looks good. Um, um, great. Uh, yeah. But quick battle and it's really entertaining. Especially with the animation and a lot of fun moments with all the characters like Gotham and the jump good people. And really, really entertaining. And that's what the finale meant on. But then you get to the last quarter of it, which is an emotional payoff and all that. And that's the stuff that I'm already seeing the right people. Between people thought the emotion of it makes up for some issue and make it give a great cover. People thinking it'll go a little wonky in one particular part with a gigantic cop out. Um, and I'm kind of in between to an extent, because I think emotionally, what they do is the very end kind of make up for what happened. The ending, no, really good. Um, definitely emotional. Still didn't quite make me cry, which means, which is something that only the Tale of Nine could do, part of the show could do. The show was that one right there. You know, this one not much, but close. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but sometimes I get more emotional each time I watch it. Sometimes I can get less. I don't know. The free one cake will get to like the back of viewing, you know, where I got to, you know, but, um, but again, that, I don't know if I will be rewatching you know, anything like that, because I don't plan to do any bog or anything like that, because again, that coming other people can do. You know, you know, so don't expect me to do anything crazy like that, but, you know. There is a bit of a cop out that I will talk about before catching that thought will next county, but still kind of stupid. Or just weird, and 
Oh, I do think the big point I'm going to have is that this should have been a two-part episode. Go part one can focus on a lot of the action stuff, and the second part will be mostly on the story and you know, character stuff to really give the community a big closure to direct a lot of little things. Instead, a good, a good little candle, like the other rush guy, but the emotional part is very in Go for it, it makes me happy what we got. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to end all, be all, making finale that I think it could have been. Um, I mean, again, much of love of some like the regular finale for one or two, but the way it ended, it gives everything the closure it needs, and thus make that one it was close to being uh, approved. I have been working on a review of the movie right now. Go plug for that. Go back, coming. Go. And I just did the top five regular show, King Kevin and Eight episode today, which is on the blog, so you can go there. <laughs> to me, it's got kind of a thing. And, well, again, I fight the fumble stuff one time, get one of my. Yeah. But, um, um, but yeah, that's just it. Most of the fun balance, you didn't get the end, but you get a bit of a cop out, and last part kind of rushed the thing, but have good emotional payoff. Make it a thing of finale. I think we could go great up the code and a nice finale. Maybe not perfect, but I feel like for what we could have gotten, I think ended on a nice note. But now we're trying to wheel the heck out of everything to at least get a more specific feeling on one thing. So, this is the point of catching. I will put a time stamp in the Christian to say when Spoiler and start specifically go uh, go vlog. I don't know. If you want to enter that part. And you know, when the Spoiler end. Go. Go. Do say you should pause right now. I assume you've unpawned. Go. If you watch to this point, I can't your fault. I will be leading into the big bit. Go. Okay, so, so basically, who some stuff I don't really remember, like a little thing. Uh, she basically find out she is the real daughter of Aku, and through some means she get enveloped in evil and blah blah blah. And through a bunch of means, Jack came to get to her and she break down and start getting on the fight. And basically, because she daughter of Aku and because she was well, good now, she had Aku power. But Aku means the power to make time for Aku, she gives the power to take Jack back to the back. Yep, that's what it came down to. She happened to have Aku power and can do that. On one hand, that being the payoff is kind of weird, but on the hand, if it were going to take him back to the back, how else can you do it? Up to the point, it feels like kind of fine. I feel like it's kind of which made a battle for the last time portal ever instead of having all been destroyed beforehand. You know, I feel like that would be more kind of like, we didn't have to rely on her. But at the same time, if they, if they had both gone to the corner, they destroy all the time portal, okay, what do you do now? We can't just have a time portal appear out of nowhere, that'd be a cop out. Well, I'm coming at, still a cop out, but leak a leak a little bit, I can't cook the character. She could have a coup, go corner, she have a coup power. Again, it's a kind of weird plunk. We don't spend a whole lot of time in that to the past. Bicky, what happened? He going back to the past, and he big after Aku and take him. Jack come back, and Aku got in the green line to get back already. <laughs> and then he killed him relatively easily, by the way. It's slight work, but because Aku caught him crying, of course, he defeated relatively easily. And we can defeat him. Everything can if you get back to him, parent, find with him. And no, we don't get any dialogue of him, so we don't have to go, oh, by the way, this person is the daughter of that guy over there, but she cool. She's cool. She's fine. We can get married. No, none of that. He, if the whole, or the majority of the was spent on them in the past, then we could have, and we could also could have keep your reaction. If, if we should have seen the future fully being changed into an idyllic future, you know, and have, you know, be on key that. We do not think, go, that, that's one thing I could have liked. Maybe have cut the future and everyone can their way from that Then we can future change to covering all awesome and parody. Everyone's not more well off, including a Scotsman who died by a good hand, which means he probably still be alive. But again, he also is from life who comes at magic. I think that would come out. They should have died. Especially called Jack and Lance. Not until the cup go where Jack finds out. And he basically tells him point blank, Oh yeah, I died, but Code the Magic may be better. Honestly, I got a lot of that. A lot of them. Like a gag where he's lifting them off and Jack, like, so many. Yeah, um. Um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I could have, like, a, I would have liked to be more of 
that parent can feel a bad reaction to Ashi and Avon is around Jack playing to different thing where only they visually show most of it the ending stuff, which we get back with the show love to do. Yeah. <laughs> Jack had to kill the king had like, fewer but more plot driven because there are fewer threats kind because Fillmore had to gain a lot more and get probably had to gain a lot more to get it for, but he did a great job with that, by the way. He usually, you know, kind of gets to be he got, I'm watching a show right now, I can't which one that he can get into, that has that kind of, he can, like, wilt, and he can get a bunch of, he can type of character he's playing, and Jack is a totally different character, and you can really get into thing, I think. Go, and especially in the community, you go, yeah, like, uh, yeah, uh, began for a relatively small cast. The show had a great one, um, but but that'll get to the emotional thing that I think all oh, think up for basically that. But I was thinking in my head, hey, wait a minute, I'll change the daughter of a coup, and a coup has now been killed in the past, meaning she was never born. Are they gonna address that? And they did. Basically, uh, basically, uh, she well, did I would be dying, but more like she prevented from being born. Oh, fuck, she wiped from the game, but Jack still remember her. Um, but Kunky did try to call that Polly, why well, he remember her. Um, and they get pretty can ending where Ashi, Ashi, the love of life, basically, is gone. Every time you find a love, come back. Like that one chick who tried to be Aku, which was kind of creepy in hindsight, like, really Aku. <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that was, yeah. And that was a really emotional ending, I feel like. Yeah, I'm gonna slightly go for note where a light bug laying on him and he smiled. Back to Ashi, I guess? I don't know. I'm like, he's appreciating nature. And that kind of show ends on a pretty bittersweet note. You know, which I love. I like the show kind of had to end up bittersweet note. And kind of, I mean, to be fair, it only the two way, where the way where he could have been like, you know what, I don't need to make it back to the pant. I needed a sweet Aku and make everything right. I can be a complete honor to my family for that. Or have him go back to the pant and teach him Aku and everything Aku Dory or you deal with some stuff. And that kind of what we did here. But I feel like we could have done more with that if it was more. We got to go and devil that fraction of it. I want to get like five minutes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to get my, find my favorite part comedically in when. Aku basically he captured Jack at the start of the episode and he having the televised presentation and the star televised thing if he they no bring narration to the show, you know. One time go and that didn't land. I can't do Aku. I can't remember go. And we get the and we don't hear the you know, the song part, but we do hear the that intro part and it's not kill up for Richie, by the way, but it is Provide your definition and they'll go meta and amazing to see that. So that was really cool. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that emotional note. I feel like if I can't make up for it. Yeah, I like cop out to have thing I made it. But I think I don't know with her dying in a way that makes total kind of both a flip bit of hope. That was really that kind of thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, and. Wait, not in. Wait, I'm not in the point yet. <laughs> you know, the time stamp will, if you really care about Boyer and Gorner, for, you know, if you care about Boyer and you will cut to the time stamp, which is not the time stamp. Um, then I think it'll go by, I, okay, but short, actually, I can't remember if I'm saying now, like, end poison. So if you're back from, uh, you know, if you go, if you did not watch more catching the short version, it's about in. Gold Short Valley is really entertaining, a lot of action, and it had some cop outy elements. We have the last bit being sort of rushed, I mean, they should have spent more episode there, but they kind of make up for it with the rest of being entertaining, and the ending will be entertaining, but weak, but kind of fine. So, overall, eating a great finale, but not a making end all be all like I'm kind of expecting, but I feel like they barely made up for it, I think. Go. So, Copy will be disappointed, but might go to appreciate it over time. Go. So, that is my opinion on the kind of that finale. And overall, the can man, will get cool. It will go cool to see the show come back, but not come back to town for a few more can, but to just have one can to end what they started and give it a kind of fan payoff. And make it better, that probably don't win, go over, Richard could be looking, and they could tell him do more what they want to do. Could he don't come up with a Vic if it was still on the network? Maybe. 
but Mavashi Backdoor, he could not have flown given, you know, you know, <laughs> but, and they're making it the start of the line to make something really special. Everything, I'm assuming it'll come out of no interference, again, you know, again, they had got to, wanted to do, and act really respectful, respectable. Maybe they had a little number of code, and act like only 10 of code. And if they're executive reason why Vic Morgan to part of it, couldn't do that, I understand. But I would have liked if Vic Morgan to two part or part or something like that. And, um, it's cool that this got to happen, and it might open the door for more show to come back, go like the finish where it started, and we're starting to see more of that. We got the Rock and Roll movie, the Arrington TV movie, and the Hey Arnold Rock movie, and, um, and I like that. That could go on to the link back for one last like raw to especially in King Harold. I'm okay with that. That will get a vlog, uh, definitely. Um, um, and any V2 movie you think that happened, they're getting a lead on, so I can talk about them. You know, Vic did bring hope. You know, it's not coming out for a reboot or a full team movie. It's like one extra million, two can get by. And I feel like they did pretty good. And any problems I have are probably just do a creator having a vision I might ultimately, uh, ultimately agree with. And I'd like that more than the get good battling. Unless something happened, it might have had the upcode order, but that can't. Which, um, you know, overall, we can definitely get a stream out, though, and it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. Especially because they're not going about primarily because they were brought to a whim. And thankfully, it was not Camera Jack or a party cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll have to look into that one down here. Oh. Okay. I hope I don't regret that going out there, but I don't think it's. I mean, anything else will clearly nothing can happen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, with that thing, Kobe, can we continue to wrap this up? We're all going to that we're going to be very unique and very interesting with the Falcon and being not only really good, but an interesting milestone, and we'll see if our show get that get the treatment by coming back, but not for anything long lasting, just for a one off or something that will wrap up for the show, and I think that's preferable. You know, I prefer for shows that didn't get much of a chance in some way. To come back, then the show that had their chance and had, okay, not up in 10 or, or whatever stuff that didn't need to be really, I feel like they're better off dead, you know. And when they do pick the show, they usually do it in a totally different way, like if you didn't go. And that got, and it didn't take that quality, people would have preferred, even if you can go really funny, really good, people would prefer a legitimate continuation, yeah. No good, that's what we got here. So, yeah, even if I had some poems I would crave for, I really liked how to go that next game right, Jack. And I'm glad to be part of this, because I got to make out a show when it was really airing. I'm probably around, about probably even way too young when just starting. And at least, at least I'm into that kind of show at the time. So, I'm, I got to part of the Falcon, and I got to watch the show, and I had a lot of fun with it. Go, yeah, go get that again. Next vlog will be VLP, VVLog, and... And I don't know if we're gonna, you know, uh, I don't know what else is coming, but hitting hitting on the network, I will be there. Uh, that should be our flat finger show, the Billy Dilly thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So I shall see you all for whatever comes next. And yeah.